What have tomatoes ever actually given us? Absolutely nothing. Well, actually, no, that's not entirely true. They're full of great nutrients and my mum does say they're actually pretty good for you. Besides all this, today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys about the Pomodoro Technique and I'm gonna show you how you can use it to improve your productivity while studying. So stick around to the end as I show you some key ways that you can implement it into your study routine. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Harry and I'm a wannabe med student in Australia. I'm also currently studying to be a paramedic. Today, I'm gonna to give you guys a bit of a brief outline about what the Pomodoro Technique is, why it's actually useful, and some pretty cool ways that you can implement it into your actual study routine. So, well, let's get into it. So really, the actual concept of the Pomodoro Technique is actually pretty straightforward. Basically, it's just giving yourself a period of study followed up with a period of downtime and you continue this for X amount of cycles until you reach the end of your study session. So like, say for example, you just wanted to study for like 40 minutes, then you might give yourself like five, 10 minutes break and you repeat that continuously. You might do three or four cycles and or however many cycles you wanted to do until your study session for the day is complete. The technique can actually be pretty effective because it helps us stay focused and stay switched on in short bursts, which actually helps to minimize mental fatigue. There's a few studies that actually show that consistent cognitive workload can actually increase decision fatigue, with the finale of this, of course, being procrastination. Now, what were these studies had in common was the conclusion that if we can somehow reset this mental workload consistently throughout our study session, we can actually reduce our fatigue and therefore ultimately decreasing the amount we are prone to procrastination. It's actually kind of funny too, because it really plays a wreck on our habits and tricks us into wanting to study so that we can get this reward at the end of it. So it's really important to kind of make this little five to 10 minutes of downtime, something that is quite rewarding. So whether it's having something nice to eat or you know, actually being able to reply to your messages or going on social media or watching that YouTube video that you know you really want to watch but you're waiting until after your study session before you watch it. Those sorts of things. Because it's this motivation to actually want to get that reward at the end of the little study session that actually kind of tricks us into wanting to study harder and study more effectively. Here's a snippet from the book, The Distracted Mind, An Ancient Brain in a High-Tech World. And basically it states that from decades of research on learning and behavior, we know that the shorter the time between the reinforcement, the stronger the drive to complete the behavior and gain the reward. I think it's pretty important to really take this statement on board and try and utilize it into our study routines. So by only touching our phones, you know, during these set study breaks, we train our brain to stay focused during the times we've allocated to actually study. And that way we allow ourselves to be rewarded with that big, juicy social media dopamine rush after our study is complete and it just feels that much more satisfying because of it. Look, at the end of the day, it really just comes down to what your personal preference is. There are apps and stuff out there that do essentially kind of try and gamify the experience for you to just kind of make it a little bit more enjoyable, I suppose. But at least from my experience, I found that a lot of them kind of failed to fully hit the mark. The only one that I could probably recommend that I felt was actually pretty decent was this app called Forest. And that was kind of cool because you got to grow your own trees and stuff by studying. But I found it's real saving grace was that it had a switch called Deep Work, which essentially redirected you back to the app whenever you opened up your phone during a set study period. So that was kind of cool. But I mean, I suppose you can just eliminate that entirely by just not having your phone near you when you're studying. And then that whole problem is just kind of like solved, isn't it? <laughs> you could also then use like a timer or a countdown on you know, your laptop or your computer, which I'd probably classify as like neutrally ideal, which is pretty cool, which is great, but it's still using your phone, still using a laptop. So therefore you're still kind of opening yourself up to those distractions, you know? The absolute super ideal option though, would be to just use an analog timer. This is the big daddy of reducing distractions and maintaining focus. Because that way you can have your phone somewhere else entirely, you have your laptop purely just for your study resources, and then you can just put the timer anywhere you want on your desk and you're good to go. 100% distraction free. So if you have an analog or a digital alarm clock with a timer setting on it, great, use that. Otherwise, I mean, I just use my watch, 
you know that's pretty much just what I'd use I just you know check the time pop it down and then when it's been 40 minutes I go okay up and off I go so there's no timer in that I suppose so it's a bit hard sometimes to kind of keep track of the time but I find it's really good because I've just got absolutely nothing near me that could distract me and it really makes it easy just to switch straight back into that study mode and get going for the next 40 minutes or an hour or however long I'm studying for. Now again, timings, that's all very personal preference based. I know the stock standard is kind of like, you know, you study for the 25 minutes and then you have a five minute break. But to me, I, I just don't feel like that doesn't really work for me. Like I can't just switch immediately straight back into study mode like some sort of robot and just keep going immediately. You know, it takes me a couple minutes to build up my momentum to get stuck back into and find where I was and start up again. And if I'm doing the 25 minutes, that's probably like five minutes gone and then I've only got 20 minutes left. And a five minute break, like, come on, that's not really a break. That's barely enough time for me to have a muesli bar and fill up my drink bottle. That's where I've found a good balance for me personally anyway, is that I go for an hour and then I have a 15 minute break. Because I find an hour is good because realistically, that's probably like 55 minutes of good solid study time by the time I find where I left off from and start up again. And then that 15 minute break is good because it means I can actually like have something to eat, you know, have a drink and sit down and just kind of like, zone out for like a few minutes at least, like at least like 10 minutes or so. But really, as with a lot of this stuff, just do whatever you're comfortable and whatever you wanna do. If you wanna study for two hours and then have like a 20 minute break, like do the classic anime Dora or whatever, go for it, that's up to you. That's all I'm really trying to do with these videos at the end of the day, is just pass on to people, you know, what I've learned so that they can choose to utilize it into their own life or not, it doesn't matter. If you guys are looking to see similar videos like this one that I'm making now, Check out my playlist up here, I hope, where I actually have gone through a couple other different strategies on how to best study for exams, and I think you'll get a lot out of it. If you really did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe down the bottom because it really does make a big difference to supporting the channel. Leave a comment down below about how you study and just anything in general, and I'll definitely make sure to check it out. All right, well, thanks for tuning in, everyone, and until next time, see yous. Oh, God. It went everywhere.